गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ दिल्ली पब्लिक स्कूल बेतिया बानुशापर टूडे आई एम हियर टू डिस्कस योर वेरी फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ इंग्लिश फॉर क्लास फोर्थ एंड दैट चैप्टर इज वेयर गोज द बोर्ड स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज अ पोएम फर्स्ट लेट मी क्लियर दिस इज अ पोएम एंड रिटन बाय रॉबर्ट लुइस टेंशन ही वॉज अ वेल नोन novelist also at the same time okay now i am going to read the poem this poem consists four stanza and each stanza there are four lines so listen to me carefully let's start the poem dark brown is the river golden is the sand it flows along forever with trees on either hand second stanza green leaves of floating castles of the foam boats of mine of boating where will come home on goes the river and out past the mill away down the valley away down the hill away down the river a hundred miles or more other little children shall bring my boat ashore so friends i just read this poem and now it's the time to summary time to summarize this poem so let's start this poem is all about a boy who is sailing his boat paper boat you all know you are all familiar with the paper boat i think paper boat is made from a paper all of you have even come across this situation when in rainy season you make a paper boat and just sail your boat in the river lake pond whatever you have nearby okay so a boy in this poem this is an imaginary poem in this poem a boy make a paper boat and sail it into a river which flows to which flow to the river now in this poem these three words may be create some difficulties for you the first is foam foam is a word which which is mean by very small air bubbles on the surface of water or waves you have ever you have ever come across with this situation where you see the bubbles bulbuli you can say in hindi bulbula you can see bulbula in water then a shore towards land towards land means something coming from the sea or a river and third valley low land between hills or mountains okay students you whatever you see in this poem i have explained it if you do have any problem then go to the comment box and write your comment and what you have to do in this poem because you do not have your textbook so it's impossible to do the exercise so just go through the video and try to listen carefully and then try to write this poem in your form